the very first of a new offering making landfall here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And despite having five slides and being a big fifth wheel, this Sabre front living room, rear bath and a half here at Haylet RV, only tips the scales about 11,775 pounds. I think the addition of these Sabres to our lineup is going to come as a bit of a surprise to a lot of people. But hang with me here, because we have all kinds of different brands of RVs here at Halo RV. Like you can see them hanging around in the background, including additional Sabres coming in behind this apparently. Here's the thing though, we're really picky about our inventory, and when we see something we like, we get it. This is a smart product. It gives you all the big fifth wheel feel and feature without the big fifth wheel budget. And that's <laughs> a smart series of qualities. So travel access in front living rooms is one of those things that is not always readily available. And I think they did pretty well here. So you see you got your seating space up here. You can walk, you know, past the theater seating to get up to those chairs. And that'll give you a place if you want to. You could sit down, grab a bite to eat there. Um, as we uh, back up a little bit, we'll go right past our, uh, you know, uh, control panel here, the one control system, which is great for all sorts of phone wireless integration. We'll talk about that later. But you notice you can access the refrigerator here, and we do like to build these. Uh, we are, I've been told, very uncommon in terms of Sabre dealers. Building these with the larger, more expensive, but larger four-door gas electric fridge here so that you always have an automatic backup. You have, uh, you know, potential travel functionality out of it. Um, not to mention just better service records than a residential electric only fridge, which is something we're very sensitive to here at Halo RV. You also notice you, you don't just, like, if you do stop and make a sandwich or something, you don't have to go up and eat it on the uh, theater seats. You do still have half of the dinette available to you. So, um, in terms of, you know, travel accessibility, is it necessarily, like, max capacity travel accessible? No. But is, in terms of front living rooms, it's, it's actually pretty good. But here's the thing. If you bump that kitchen slide, like, you can almost squeeze past it right now. But if you do bump the kitchen side, that is all you need to be able to get to like the rear uh, bedroom and bathrooms and everything. So, you know, a quick little nudge uh, of that slide out with your phone is all it takes. Don't forget though that you have this sort of mini little camp convenience station out here. If you throw some ice packs in that fridge because those don't operate in transit, or if you bring yourself a little cooler, you could set some things in here, maybe some dry goods, you could have some chips on hand, something like that. It is still possible you could stop and have yourself a quick little bite to eat somewhere. And getting it all opened up, I wanted to begin by just kind of standing back at sort of like the bedroom door and giving you a nice look at everything. Uh, but we're going to begin right up front. It's a front living room. That's kind of one of the focal points of the RV, so it only makes sense to begin there, naturally. Now, um, the idea behind these savers is not that there's necessarily anything earth-shattering or new. It's just clean, simple, good execution with a familiar floor plan without the astronomical budget. That's kind of the wheelhouse of this group right here. Um, now, if we take a look, you see that you have... Those roll down like uh, blackout zebra shades, if you are so inclined, since this is an extended member actually of the Cherokee group of RVs, uh, you find quite a few of those all the time here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. You see you've got those dual opposing height beds and that's the thing, if we start going through you're going to see it just checks all the boxes. That's who Sabre is, they're a product that just checks the boxes, you're looking for big, check. You're looking for affordable? Check. You're looking for plenty of space and sleeping? Double air conditioners. By the way, both of these air conditioners are 30, 000, or pardon me, 15,000 BTU air units. So you have a 30,000 BTU air system here, just like something like an Eagle, a Montana, a North Point, etc. Again, it just checks the boxes. Up front, we've got that electric heating fireplace. Check. Big TV straight across from that uh, heat massage theater seat. And they are excellent about including things like uh, outlets and USB plugs all over the place to make it a, uh, a very comfortable experience. Now you've got a basic starter entertainment system here, but it is very expandable. Since you have this big countertop and those outlets, you could very easily put a little satellite system or something over there, or just plug a little streaming stick into that little multifunction uh, stereo. So up front here, we've got all kinds of seating space. We've seen the sleeping. Uh, plenty of, uh, you know, uh, comfort space for everybody. 
And then over here, this heat massage theater seat. It's nice that those, I, I should have left one of those kicked out. That's my error. But if you're looking for more of a, a spacious love seat thing, maybe you're a little thicker in the hips or a bit of a fluffy folk, uh, you can simply take that middle pontoon style armrest out of there. And I like that little side stand with the household and USB plugs. Like I said, they're very good about loading this thing up with plenty of outlets. Now it is, well, what, what's the height up here? It's about six and a half foot tall in this upper deck. So even a person like me, I can easily navigate my way through here. And one of the other things I like is that indirect lighting above the crown molding. When we're up high in the upper living room like this, it's very obvious. And during the day, it really does a nice job of lightening and brightening up this RV. Although the huge windows and excellent lighting package in here already does a pretty good job of that itself. So it never feels dark. It never feels claustrophobic. You've always got good views of everything. They've done a good job here. And then they'll include extra like spotlight kind of uh, windows up top, little skylight styles. That ceiling fan up top, excellent for getting some good airflow going. But still a couple nice touches, like the, the cool little uh, pendant lighting. Um, one of the questions I think that we're going to get is, okay, I like that, but what other decors are available? There are not other decors available. Savers come this way. This is how they come. This is the way that they look. That is one of their cost control uh, measures is that they, uh, they don't build stuff that looks two or three different ways. Now, I'm going to break my normal pattern and I'm going to jump over here into the slide and look at the dining seating next instead of doing that right before we go to the bedroom and bathroom just because I feel like doing something different today. Since today we have a different offering here at Halo RV, and in a sense it kind of ties into the living room seating space. But you've got, you know, your, your normal hardwood table, four floating chairs, there's a little bit of storage below those chairs, but we have just, again, gobs of door side window coverage. And you've just got excellent panoramic viewing with more of those roll down zebra style shades available to you. Um, over here though, something else I was very pleased about is that the uh, storage here in this kitchen, like it's a front living room and a lot of times kitchens get left out. And this is a more price sensitive offering. So I almost suspected it would have not excellent kitchen storage. And I will say, I was very pleasantly surprised to see what it does have to offer because it is pretty good. And it starts right over here with kind of like a entry hutch, if you will. Um, make a perfect little coffee bar. You know, you've got your handy little drawers here, a place to set down the mail perhaps, you know, put a, uh, a coffee maker, anything of that nature. Now the lights are, they dim down, so I think the little portable battery box that I had hooked up to this is just about to give up the ghost, so in a few minutes here I'll have to swap that out. So pardon me if things are a little dim right now, but we have just enough 12 volt. Actually, I can tell you we have 9.6 volts left on my battery because this has been built with their very simple, uh, it's called juice pack system. And actually, it looks like it's slowly trickle charging my battery. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, it is. Look at it go. Wow. Awesome. Maybe I want to swap that out at all. But um, that is another uh, optional piece of equipment, kind of like that big four-door fridge we're going to talk about in a little more in depth in just a second here. But remember that the one that we're looking at here today could be very likely is, somehow slightly different from the one that we have in stock. We try to build stuff sometimes a couple different ways. Uh, what you'll find on all of these though is the uh, LCI-1 control system and I like this. I, the, the enhancements, the improvements they've made here, I like this a lot better than what I saw in years past. And it still does all the basic things, it just does it in a cleaner, nicer, better looking way that's a little easier to operate via their One Control app. So slides, awnings, jacks, etc. You can operate all that stuff right here. Now it's kind of cool that the area behind the uh, theater seat, they created like an easy access pantry, although you'll see that this does have more pantry space. So I said we come back to the fridge. We already talked about it a little bit when the slides were closed. But again, I was advised that we are one of the only Sabre dealers that requested that four-door gas electric fridge. And that doesn't surprise me because I've been advised from a lot of brands that we're one of the only dealers that builds stuff the way that we build it all the time. Um, I think maybe our experience as a place uh, that you know assists thousands of customers a year, and not to mention just the fact that we actually go camping at Halid RV. We don't just sell these things, we actually use them. It might give us a little bit different insight and a lot of what we do here is really shaped by you folks at home. So I always appreciate your feedback. But I've been told, like the standard fridge in here is an 8 cubic foot gas electric. We made that 50% bigger upgrade right there. Because this is a huge RV. I cannot imagine not having that bigger fridge. 
And uh, our rep was saying, yeah, but man, that's going to mean that your saber is going to be more expensive than everybody else's. And I said, I don't care because to me, that fridge is just something that I won't go without. And I'd really like to know, what do you folks think? Was that the right call? <laughs> now over here, you can see that pantry. Those shelves could easily be pulled out. So in a sense, we have two easy access pantries. And look at this, just plenty of drawer space all over. And that is a full wall backsplash with some easy reach outlets there. But the storage doesn't stop because as we come over here, take a look at this island. I like that it is asymmetrical. You know, when the sink covers are on, sure, we got extra prep space here. But when the sink covers are off, you see that you still maintain some prep space. Whereas a lot of times manufacturers will put the sink dead in the center of the island, which makes it really hard to use the island if the sink is in play, which won't be the case here. So like I said, you pop those covers off, you still have space on the right hand side of the island as you're, as you're using it. Uh, you know, for prep area or setting stuff out or a dish strainer. But how about that smoking good looking black stainless farm sink? I, that black stainless stuff is finding its way all over the industry and I'm happy for it. I think it looks good. Sometimes stainless doesn't fit, sometimes black doesn't, but black stainless somehow can always work for me. I don't know why. Now, we already saw the drawers, but now there's more drawers and there's space below the sink. And that's, again, we start going through here. Check the boxes. It does all the things you need it to, but it doesn't just do it haphazardly. Sabres do things in intelligent ways. It's a really smartly designed product. Um, now, over there in that corner, there's like an awesome phone charge station. You can see all those outlets. And I told you, they are not shy about putting outlets in there. But you've also got like a neat little corner cabinet. They just kind of didn't waste that space. They put something in there. What are you going to put in there? I don't know. Everybody camps different. I'm sure you'll figure something out. But over here, you see that you've got this handy half bath right there. Well, um, this is a bath and a half model, but it has a private rear uh, master suite. Well, most people probably don't want somebody walking through their bathroom, or pardon me, their bedroom to get to the bathroom. So this is good for the guests. Now you might have noticed that is a porcelain foot flush stool. And as we look up top, you see that you have a power vent fan in here, but that thing's super duper tall. Thankfully, they gave us a switch on the wall so you don't have to be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to reach that thing. And now just past that half bath, the other door, door number two, takes us to our bed bath suite. Now this floor plan is very similar to something like a 3760 Front Living Montana. It's very similar to stuff that like Cedar Creek puts out. Now it's not an elevated upper rear living, but it still again checks all the boxes. We've got that big king bed. We've got plenty of headroom in here. Actually in a sense, you, well, not in a sense, in a very literal sense. You have taller headroom in here and in the shower versus like a Montana or a Cedar Creek. And at thousands of less dollars, tens, I mean tens of thousands less, guys. That's the thing. That's where these guys are so, so smart. And I love the slide accent wall when you get in here. It gives it a nice big feel, cross breeze across your bed with those little corner stands for your phones. Both sides of the bed have outlets right next door, by the way. So that's a, you know something that you can, again, check the box on. 70 by 80 king bed in here, you know, checks the box. And, then, and I'm sorry if it sounds annoying that I keep saying that, but I mean, that's who these guys are. That's what they do. They say what really matters, what really matters and they knock it out. Now there's still some pretty hardware like there on the bathroom. They'll still do uh, some, you know, just cosmetic eye candy features, but they never overdo anything. Space up here, if you want to go TV crazy, you got a nice big wide open area. You could add that thing there. And you see that we actually have some uh, pretty good bedroom storage as well, starting with these uh, kind of split. I guess you could say his and hers or mine and, and theirs kind of, you know, hanging storage. You'll also see we've got some good dresser space going on, plenty of drawers. They are not afraid to put drawers and outlets in these savers. That is a trend I've noticed. Now, as we go across this big countertop here, you might notice how there are not drawers here. That's because there's like a little outdoor, almost kind of camp kitchen, camp convenience station behind that. So instead of having to get on your hands and knees to get to storage, they gave you a very handy outside feature. And then there's even more drawer space over here below that second hanging closet. And again, it just gets the job done. Plus, of course, you've got that sliding privacy door here to, uh, for the master bathroom in the back. And right next to that door, we have another big chunk of storage. This is, most people are just going to use it for that purpose, just for storage. But you may uh, discern that this is capable of housing 
not just a combo, but a stackable washer dryer if you are so inclined. Obviously, we have some motion sense lighting, just like the main pantry. You've got a hanging rod up there, and what you could do, because these shelves are individually removable, you could leave that rod up, you could use the top section for hanging, uh, you know, clothing, and you could drop, or like, remove the bottom shelf and just do a combo washer dryer if you're so inclined. So, uh, again, it's <laughs> just a, a smart set of features here. That easy step in shower with the corner seat combined with a tall ceiling and that uh, totally clear door means that this thing looks and feels large back here because, it, frankly, it is very large. And you can see a big skylight above. You might notice these are the more simple series, like just the one-room vent fans. If the only thing you're worried about is like, man, I really wish it had one of those bigger vent fans, call our team here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We can easily upgrade that to a larger uh, blade-style fan if you're looking for that bigger airflow. Now, you're going to get just a little bit look at my right hand there. I usually like to pretend I'm a vampire and I hide from mirrors, but there's just no way to do it in this one right here. The double lavatory, which is, again... One of those things that you'll find in those bigger high dollar fifth wheels you're still finding here. This is all sealed edge press membrane countertops, by the way. So if you do splash some water on those sinks, no big deal, guys. And you have plenty of room in here for towels. Whether you're using that closet for a washer, dryer, clothes, whatever, plenty of room in here. And you also have plenty of room to like be able to set out medications or decorations or a place to set uh you know blow dryers and shavers and all that stuff great spot down here i think this would be perfect for like your extra uh, you know toilet paper and toiletries because it's down out of the way but it's you know it's going to be right where you're going to want it if you have a need for something like that and have you noticed both those toilets were um porcelain by the way now right above handy little window right here and it spooks some people when you're inside the rv like i feel like people can see me in the bathroom not really, uh, not really, uh, because the window's up high enough. No one really has a good line of sight to be able to see in here. And when you see those from outside, that little fact becomes a little bit more obvious. And just like in the half bath, you have a power vent lid and fan here so that you don't have to be 10 feet tall to reach that thing. Again, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would be fine, but even as tall as I am, I wouldn't be able to reach some of that stuff. Now, I was on my way out the door, and I glanced down at the little uh, battery voltage monitor that comes with the solar option on these savers here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Remember how originally this was at 9.65 uh, uh, volts coming off of the uh, battery? I'm just using a, uh, a very low-power portable 12-volt battery, and the lights were dim. The very basic solar package that comes on this has already... Uh, even given the overcast day that we're having today, charge my batteries up despite having the lights screaming during this video to 11.1 .1 volts. So if what you're looking for is to get off grid and not have to worry about your lights and your fans, your 12 volt stuff, uh, you want to know that your awning is going to open and close whenever you want it to, this basic, inexpensive, but obviously effective solar package is something you're going to want on a Sabre RV and that's why we put them on everything under the Cherokee family here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Hopping outside, front living rooms are not traditionally known for having awesome outside pass-through storage. And I'm not saying this is the size of like a Montana or North Point or Pinnacle pass-through, but uh, <laughs> that's not bad. I mean, that's a pretty good amount of capacity there. You got your little outdoor TV hookups. Um, also, right by the entry door, we got our handy little pet leash latch slash bottle opener. And notice, how those doors actually swing open and close instead of flip up because if they flipped up you'd have to kind of duck to get to them but when they swing like that no big deal the four step stable step making it easy come and go and that is an anti-slam door so once again we're checking boxes those things that really matter those things that everybody's looking for it's got them you know and it has them in spades we've got the uh, automatic leveling system on here you know simple little side mount solar prep and we've already discussed that it has a roof solar package on it so we've obviously got the opportunity for roof solar on these um and a nice clean simple looking exterior now i want to address one thing at the time of this filming you see at the bottom of the nose cap it says cobalt this is technically called the saber cobalt series I have a suspicion that Cobalt name is just going to phase off the product. They called it Cobalt just because in years past the graphics were blue. And they just went to a more neutral uh, color palette. And frankly, I think they're stronger for it. I think it just looks good. It looks uh, 
calm, collected, low key, conservative, but smart. The white skin that they have on these will organically reflect a lot of heat. And they have an excellent radiant barrier package. So uh, in conjunction with the white skin radiant barrier and the dual 15,000 BTU airs up top, you're gonna stay plenty cool in the summertime on this thing. They are all, what's also smart is they're all pre-wired for two batteries, which is something that even if you're not a solar enthusiast, you will enjoy having that second battery on there, just the extra capacity. Now the uh, wind is kind of dancing this door like a sugar plum fairy over here for us. And behind it, as you would expect from most fifth wheels, we have our enclosed docking center and access to the other side of the pass-through. Now the docking station, they could have gone very inexpensive here, but again, they're doing the right things in the right places. Like you can see how we have this galvanized rolled steel enclosure, outside shower right next to our sewer outlets, which is kind of a nice thing here. Just all kinds of simple, smart features. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a knee here. You can't see much. It's gonna look basically like all other fifth wheels in the belly because it's pretty much like most other fifth wheels in the belly. We're enclosed, we're heated, we're a great extended season package here. So if what you're looking for is something that you're like, listen, I just want to get it to a park and I want to leave it and I want lots of space, but you know, I don't want to overpay for something I'm only going to use occasionally. I'm not necessarily full-timing, although I don't see why you couldn't here. I, I just think this is a perfect brand for those qualities. Like most front living room fifth wheels, not a whole lot of action on the back side because everything's really happening up front. The back is really intended to be kind of quiet, low key. Plus, it's a rear bathroom, so you know there's not a whole lot of opportunity for like decorative windows or things. Um, the uh, they do include though standard a 300 pound accessory hitch on the back. So if you want to do things like add a bike rack, you've got the perfect spot to do that. And like most fifth wheels, we do have uh, a backup camera prep up there for us. That's pretty much standard issue features. I'm not going to belabor that point too much. Instead, I want to zip over here and take a look at our little outdoor camp kitchen convenience center. Now remember, we upgraded this one, and this is typically how we build them, though the one in stock could be a little different, with that larger refrigerator. Plus this fridge right here gives this thing over 15 cubic foot of cold storage. That is nothing to sneeze at. And at the dollars and cents that you get a saver, I don't know that you can really get more cold storage in this industry than that. We, we maximized the fridge capacity on this thing right here. And again, I'd love to know what you think about that. Did we, go, did we overdo it? Uh, I, I don't believe you can have too much fridge space, but there are rare times where maybe you don't. So I'd be curious to know what you folks think. Are we doing it right or not? And just like the, um, uh, you know, docking station, that's what I was looking for. We have that uh, galvanized rolled steel here next to a miniature stone cast sink. So even the little, I guess you call them tertiary, secondary features on this RV, they're still using a good material where it matters most. You have a little rail over here for a side mount uh, grill or... You might notice, uh, or, well, using with that, there is a gas grill quick connect down below. But you don't have to mount a grill to the side of this thing. If you want a free flow to Blackstone or something like that nearby, nothing is stopping you from doing it. The point is, they gave you the ability to do those things. And the roof, just like the rest of the RV, it's simple but smart. It does exactly what it needs to, exactly where it needs to. Pretty much everything on the roof is just polar white. And that's going to help keep that sunshine out of there. You will still find, though, it does have those uh, these little white hockey puck looking things. Those are vents to allow heat that builds up in the roof's attic to escape. So it's not boiling you from the hair down, especially when you're in that uh, upper uh, living room area. Now that right there, I, I've mentioned the juice pack solar option, the very simple solar package that's available on these Sabres. It's something we put on all of them. Um, and it's only a 50 watt panel, but it's a nice high efficiency panel. And as you already saw, this RV was, uh, you know, powering up my battery um, just while it was hooked up. It's pretty cool. I really like what they have going on here. So if you like what you see here, let us know. And short of that, <laughs> remember guys, we've only got right now over 700 different things for you to look at. Now, Father Christmas has blessed us with a little bit of Jack Frost, uh, you know, dressing all over this stuff. We got a little bit of that. Snow is a four-letter word, but it's a four-letter word, um, you know, in the RV industry. <laughs> so, if you like what you see, give us a call. All I ask in return for these efforts is just a fair opportunity to earn your business. So, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet Camping, everyone.